skin, people were treating black Americans just because of the colour of their skin unfairly. That is not fair. I think they should all be treating each other the same and treat them fairly, like, good. And then they should, yeah, but I think they got over that by now because that was a long time ago. Anyways, let's go back to the video. That's what I think. I'm you are sure. absolutely right, Rhea. That happened to Rosa Parks and Dr. Martin Luther King. Yeah. People even bombed his home. However, due to the termination and people coming together, Dr. Martin Luther King was successful and they ended segregation on the buses. The most famous thing Martin Luther King is famous for is his I Have a Dream speech. In 1963, Martin Luther King was at the March on Washington with over 25,000 people. Ah! I'm okay! The march was organised to end segregation. Here he delivered I Have a Dream speech. This is now one of the famous speeches HISTORY! This is a huge success and the Civil Rights Act was passed in 1964! 
Well guys, what an amazing legend Martin Luther King was. Such a huge influence on our lives. He made a massive difference in the way we live. Thank you, Dr. Martin Luther King. Look where I am. another black inventor. But let's remind everyone what an inventor means. Yes, inventor means somebody that created something new or discover something for the first time. Now Garrett Morgan was a man of many talent. He didn't just invent one thing, he invented loads. Let's go through his inventions guys. Garrett Morgan most known invention already existed, the signals only had a stop and a go! Garrett Morgan added a third signal to make it much safer with using the road. This helped to regulate the vehicles. This was called a free position traffic signal or traffic light. That's right! Garrett Morgan witnessed a bad accident on the road and he just knew he could make the signals much safer. 1923, on November the 20th, Garrett Morgan was able to patent this amazing venture. Patent? What's a patent, Raya? Well, guys, when our inventor creates something new, they can request a patent to make their inventions their own. Amazing, Raya! Garrett Morgan was able to patent the traffic signal in America, Great Britain and Canada. Garrett Morgan's invention was affordable to create. So they were able to make even more traffic signals, making the roads even safer. But let's go and check some traffic lights. Come on guys, let's go. Right guys, let's go and find some traffic lights. Go. Long, long time ago, guys. Garrett Morgan was also. 
also the inventor of the improved gas mask. He made this safety hood so when you wear the mask you're not breathing in and much smoke and pollution. Guys, you don't want to smell those bad stuff smoke because that's a bad thing to smell. The soldiers in World War One were able to use this gas mask and were protected by Gary Mulder's great Garrett Morgan was an important black person in our history. Yes, guys. I mean, just think about how many billions of people use the traffic lights today all across ah. the world, keeping people safe everywhere. Guys, remember this lesson and think about all the important black inventors of history. They played an important part in the world. I hope you enjoyed learning, guys about this great black inventor, Gary Morgan! Right guys, I'm going to show you filament. So where you see those strings wobbling when I do that, that is the filament. Oh my gosh, the lights that I can't see! Kids Black History! Hi guys, I'm Ra. Welcome back to another episode of Kids Black About. Oh my gosh, the lights that I can't see! Thank goodness, guys, the lights are back on! What is that in your hand? It's a light bulb! Thank goodness for light bulbs, we can see! So as I was saying, guys, today we're going to be looking at amazing inventor like this! That's right! Today we're going to be focusing on an amazing inventor. But what does an inventor mean, Raya? A inventor means somebody that created something new or discovers something for the first time. When the inventor creates something new, they can request a pattern to make it their own. Brilliant! So which inventor are we talking about today? Today we're going to be talking about Louis Landemark. He is considered to be one of the top most important black inventors ever guys he's a genius so what did lewis latimer invent raya well first we need to mention this man thomas edison who is credited everywhere as the inventor of the light bulb however guys this is not solely true there were many early versions of the light bulb edison did build an incandescent electric light but the lamp only burned for a few hours guys it needed to be improved and that's where lewis latimer comes in so raya why is light so important light is important because when one light drops and it goes dark then you won't able to see and then when you're gonna go in the night then you'll bump your head and then and then you're going to have to uh, feel worse when you're going. Guys, light is really important. Okay, so Raya, tell us a little bit more about Louis Latimer. Louis Latimer was born on September the 4th, 1848. That was a long time ago, guys. He was born in Chelsea, Massachusetts, America. Guys, his most known invention was for improving the light bulb. Edison's light bulb worked through a filament made of paper that burns out so quickly. Latimer then created a filament with a longer lasting carbon for the light bulb. This way our light bulb could last for much longer. Can you imagine having to change the light bulb so many times? in just a few hours guys how annoying would that be with having to buy loads of light and then they'll run out of bags and then you can't buy anymore and then if all of the lights can't work that means there's no more now we change the light bulb after months and it's affordable today some light bulb can even last for years today let's look about this light bulb Oh, let's have a look. Okay, come closer. 
Right guys, I'm going to show you filament. So where you see those strings wobbling when I do that, that is the filament. This is what Latimer's worked so hard on. The filament Lewis Latimer made the use of electric light accessible for everyone. We have electric lights everywhere in the world. Lewis Latimer even wrote the first ever book on electric lighting. How cool is that guys? His book is called Incandescent Electric Lighting. Guys, Lewis Latimer was even involved in the installation of public electric light. He supervised in Philadelphia, New York and London. Well, that means he really travelled the world. Wow, Raya, Lewis Latimer created a timeless invention that will be used and developed for many years to come. But did you know, Raya, that Lewis Latimer didn't just create a brilliant, effective light bulb, he was also able to pattern other inventions. <gasps> That's right, guys. Lewis Latimer isn't just a light bulb inventor. He created a safety elevator in 1894. He also created a book supporter to keep all your books neat on the shelf. He then created a device for cooling and disinfecting and he created the first water closet in 1874. He even helped Alexander Graham Bell patent the telephone in 1876. Wow, Raya, Lewis Latimer was truly an amazing inventor. Yes, guys. Where would we be without Lewis Latimer's inventions? And without the history of other amazing African black inventions? When you switch on the light today, remember Lewis Latimer, everything you learned in this video. Maya Angelou's legacy can still be felt today. She wrote 36 books and many poems. Why don't you try to write your own poems later, guys? You never know, guys. You might come the next, next great poem. Maybe you could be on a coin one day. What is a poet, Raya? That's a great question. A poet is somebody who writes poems. Poems are a type of artistic writing that tries to stir a, a reader's imagination or emotions. <laughs> Poets do this by carefully choosing and putting words together for their meaning, sound and rhythm. Some poems, like nursery rhymes, are simple and funny. Other poems might try to tell some truth about life or tell a story or honour someone or something. One thing that makes poems different from other types of writing is the way they are put together. The word and the poet are put in lines and groups of lines called stanzas. There are many different types of poets, guys, like haikus, which are small poems with three lines. The first and last lines have five syllables, and the middle one has seven. They don't have to rhyme, guys. An example will be beautiful sunrise on a warm summer morning. I wait for a day starts. Other types of poems include sonics, limericks, balance, elegies, and free verse. Beep, beep, beep. So what poet are we looking at today, Raya? Maya Angela! Right guys, before we get into this 
video. I need you to do one little thing right now. If you don't, then you have to do a dance. Make sure you smash the thumbs up and subscribe the button down below. fantasy can totally transform a million realities. We are more alike, my friends, than we are unalike. No, nobody but nobody can make it out here alone. Fall gently, snowflakes cover me with white cold icy kisses and let me rest tonight. Right guys, let's look at some fun facts about Maya Angela. Maya Angelou was born on April the 3rd, 1928. In her early life, she became San Francisco's first black streetcar conductor. Before writing novels and poems, Angelo became a calypso dancer and singer near San Francisco. Maya moved to Ghana in 1962 and worked as an administrator at the University of Ghana. Angela wrote her words in a hotel room. She authored autobiographies, cookbooks and even greeting cards. Maya Angelou's legacy can still be felt today. It will be announced that she will be one of many women to appear on a quarter American coin. How amazing is this guys? Maya Angelou's poems have changed the life guys. Chase the life. Chase the world. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you try to write your own poems later guys. You never know guys you might come the next next great poem. Maybe you could be on a coin one day. I hope you like watching this video on Kids Black History. Don't forget to check out all our other episodes on Kids Black History and 
Rhea from Blair. And don't forget to smash the thumbs up and subscribe the button down below. And I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye guys. Bye guys. Bye.